welcome to another episode of Remy's Recipe. So I'm so excited to bring you this recipe because I've been making these cookies for months and every single time I make them, they literally don't last a day because they're so freaking good. The reason that I haven't done a recipe on them yet is just because they're very, very similar to the one from Sarah's day. So I got the recipe from her, but then throughout the months, I've just been kind of changing it up into my own and it's definitely still heavily inspired by Sarah's day. But I still wanted to bring it to you just because I've been realizing that like every single time I post about these, people ask me for the recipe. So I thought it wouldn't hurt to kind of just bring it to you. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing that you're going to do is do two and a half cups of almond flour. You can do two cups of almond flour and half a cup of coconut flour. That is typically what I usually do, but today I was just out of coconut flour. Then I did one teaspoon of baking powder, typically with any paleo kind of desserts, you do want to put a little bit more baking powder just so they actually rise. And then I did two tablespoons of coconut sugar and then four tablespoons of honey. So this is definitely giving it that sweetness and just making it so delicious. Then what you're going to do, which I honestly feel like makes the biggest difference, so do not skip this step, but we're going to do cinnamon. So I never measure my cinnamon, so just freely pour until you feel like it's a good amount, but that's definitely what just makes the cookie itself taste so freaking good. Then you're gonna do four tablespoons of coconut oil and you're just gonna melt that down before you pour it into the batter. And then to finish it off, you're just gonna put two eggs. You shouldn't really need anything else but this. Once I kind of mix it up, it's like perfect cookie dough. But if yours is too thick, you can definitely add some almond milk. So after you mix it all up, it's time to put the chocolate chips. So to keep this recipe really healthy and to keep it paleo, I have used the Hue Dark Chocolate Gel. Gems. These are so, so good. I love the Hue Dark Chocolate Bars. They are not bitter at all. They taste so good. They're like the perfect amount of sweetness, but they don't have any like cane sugar or anything like that. So I love them. So I put this in and then I preheated the oven to 350 degrees and left them in for 10 minutes. That's all they need to still be really chewy, still really gooey, but so, so delicious. So without further ado, let me show you the final product. I don't know why, no, I don't know why the flowing keeps people I really hope you enjoy this recipe it's so so delicious it's like one of my top favorite dessert recipes very up there with the paleo cheesecake and the paleo brownies so I hope you consider remaking this and if you did enjoy this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel I'll see you next time bye